know, Adam could not be here today as he is currently completing his degree in air conditioner repair. Instead, my friend Blair is getting her co-hostess on for us. Yes, yes, my co-hostess is on. Now, the OutRun series has been cranking out racing games since Silver Spoons was on TV. But like Ricky Schroeder, the OutRun franchise has tried to create a mature career and largely failed. Here's Adam's review of OutRun 2006, Coast to Coast. The year was 1986. The only license I had was my Pepsi, license to chill. And yet, I was still able to crank up the tunes and hit the open highway. With some blonde girl I didn't even know. Sure, she might have been some deranged maniac, and I could have ended up in a bathtub full of ice with a kidney missing. But I knew Sega wouldn't do that to me. Not in the awesome, radically awesome world of OutRun. 20 years later, that classic arcade driver is smoking the tires of your console with the release of OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. This game is definitely not a super advanced racer with uncannily accurate physics, but there's a lot to be said for simplicity, straight up fun, and driving topless. It's all very familiar, as this is basically the same game you played in movie theaters, sports bars, and that creepy guy's basement for years. Yeah, you know that creepy guy lived down the street from you, kept trying to get kids to come over to his house and play video games? Any of this ringing a bell? He had that limited edition, no pants version of OutRun? His name was Chester something. It'll all come back to you. The memories of OutRun, not your haunting childhood. When you hop into a Ferrari and peel out down the highway of some sort of bizarro Pangea that includes Niagara Falls, the pyramids, and Easter Island all on the same road. The most attractive aspect of OutRun is the simple play style. There are two modes. The super straightforward career mode, creatively called OutRun, and the second, not so straightforward relationship metaphor mode called Heart Attack. In Heart Attack, your passenger is blathering blonde bimbo, or as I like to call her, Shinoki Wobbles. You, as the p whip man, must fulfill her every request, no matter how weird or uncomfortable they make you feel. You'll hear things like, Hit the car, pass the convoy. And let me put my thumb up here. And of course, you do it. We all do it. Well, maybe not the thumb, but we all give in for, how should I put it? I think Warrant stated it best, sweet cherry pie. And by sweet cherry pie, I'm sure the Warrant boys meant the little hearts you earn when you satisfy your gal. Weaving between cars takes real skill, as a single bump can send you flying. Are you going to let him get away with that? There's a basic arcade pass in physics, and instead of causing damage when you hit other cars, they'll just spin off and disappear, just like in the real world. The only complaint we have is the limited music selection. Yeah, it's faithful to the original, but there's no way to change the music while driving, and listening to magical sound shower over and over certainly doesn't make me look cool in front of my girl. Rank D. Outrun 2006 may be little more than an arcade port, but it's the arcade fun it delivers that keeps me desperately trying to shove quarters into my Xbox. We give Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast four out of five. Don't you give up? Sweet cherry pie, hmm. huh? You know, the Outrun series has always been very strange, but yeah. it all sort of works somehow. There's so many insults about women, but it's so silly, it just you just sort of forget about it. I always punch my co-driver in the face. It's that, just something I do, you know? She gives him a good slap when he messes up. I love I go, that. Take the turn. Women doing it for themselves.